Hi, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my 66th Floss Tube video. Um, it's Friday, uh, the 2nd of October and um, yeah, it's my birthday month. So yes, finally, my new start. Uh, I was talking about several videos. I will get back to that one later on. I'm doing fine. I hope you are doing well. Um, I'm doing fine right now. I was sick last week. I uh, was going to work, but then my boss told me, no, you need to go home because I was having, yeah, flu type uh, symptoms. I was just uh, having a cold and just a normal cold, nothing COVID or anything. I was just not feeling well and was not looking well either. So I was home for a week. So I watched a lot of floss tube and I stitched in between sleeps. So I'm going to show you what I have done and yeah, let's dive right in. Um, first my whips for sampler September. I have done a lot. I, my goal was to uh, stitch on every sampler I have, but uh, I don't think I have touched every sampler because there's only an amount of time. So we'll see. This is Feed Your Soul by Stitches Through the Years on Etsy. And I am going to show you what I have done. I haven't ironed anything, so this is what I have done so far. I managed to stitch the entire inner border and it all matched. Man, that feels good. That's... I did a little jump of joy when I saw that it matched and yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous piece. This is done on 40 count old linen by X2 design with the cold for DMCs. I'm going to show you. If I can. <laughs> these are the cold for DMCs and these are gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. And did I mention how many stitches I did? I need to look at my notes. I did a total of 1,007 stitches because my plan is to, when I grab a piece to work on, is to do at least 500 to 1,000 stitches to have a serious amount of progress because I have a lot of whips and I would like to see something finished from now, uh, now and then. So, and I think <clears throat> 500 to 1000 is doable. That means I won't be touching every whip I have, but I have at least done some progress or some damage to some of my projects. The next project I was working on is <clears throat> Pandemic by Long Dock Samplers. And I had a question and uh, the name, someone, the someone who asked me to show the colors, I don't recall anymore. Um, I'm very sorry. Um, but of course I'm going to show you my colors. Let's see. And, okay, I need to grab one. Let's see the progress I had. And I did a total of 1222 stitches. I'm going to show you what I've done. <laughs> it's a very big piece. This is what I have done so far. I... Oh, this is totally not manageable. I worked on this part of the border. I 
stitched this, I stitch this and I did the cornucopia and I stitched this part. I've done a lot and I love this. I love these colors. I'm going to show you the lighter blue that's in between these hearts is a DMZ variegated which is 4025 or Caribbean which is this one. It's gorgeous. And the other ones is for the gray parts it's $37.99 which is gray. The dark blue is $37.50 which is a very dark blue. I hope it's showing up. For the green it's $5.61 and for the lighter blue it's Three seven six five. And this is the color, and I love these colors. I chose them because of the needle miner, which is on this piece. Can I show it? This is the needle miner I have on this project. It's from Lydia Lovely Stitches, her Etsy store, and yeah. Love these colors. So I will put that away for now. The next project or sampler, should I say, is Jenny Bean's Friendship Sampler, which is this one. I love this one. It's by Shakespeare's Peddler. And I am... Um... Oh, I forgot. The Pandemic is stitched on 32 count Platinum Murano. Um, one over two. And yes, that's enough on 32 count. And now for my Jenny Beans Friendship Sampler. This is what I have. I am using a mix of Victorian mottos and DMCs. And yeah, just my own version, which looks like the Cold War. And I managed to stitch a big part of the house and that's it I think because it's a very big house it's how many did I do 1013 stitches so it has been a lot this is done on 32 count no name lakeside linen which was a fabric of the month which wasn't named so but I love working on lakeside linens and I will get back on lakeside linens later in this video because I had a substantial haul. So that's that one. Then we have The Light Upon the Lawn by Blackbird Designs. Which is, yeah, I love this. I know it's not, I, I say that every time, every time. This is not a sampler, but it's, to me, it's sampler like. So let's see how many stitches I have done 1147. And let's see. This is what I have done so far. This piece. I love this. This is my own conversion of Victorian mottos and I believe a Misuseda silk. Love these colors. And this is done on 36 count Ancient by Picture This Plus. Okay. 
then I made a very big mistake, you guys. I was working on Hoity Toity with Stacy911 Stitcher. The hashtag is hashtag Hoity Toity Silky Cell. And I was working on this and I had done a little over 600 stitches. And then I realized I was in the wrong place. I, I wasn't going to, I wasn't able to fudge it because it was very wrong in place. I have to pick this part out, but I have done the fruit basket and a bird and yeah, some other thing. I believe it was a fox or something, an animal that was here. And I had started from this point, this point here, but I had to start from the middle of this point and I didn't. And I realized that after 600 plus stitches. So yay. I had to pick everything out and I have this part left because I wasn't, this is 20 count Balana one over one with Mitsuseido silks, the hoity toity silky pack. And I wasn't going to take everything out in one sitting. So I was talking about it with my friend Alice. Hi Alice. <laughs> and uh, she said, um, maybe you should do every day before you start stitching uh, just take 10 minutes or uh, 15 minutes to pick a part out and then put it away and ju just start stitching and you will get there in the end. So I have done a lot in the last three weeks because I couldn't film last week because I was sick. So it's only this part and I have no progress to show. Boomy. But hey. We will get back to this one. So Stacy is now further along <laughs> than me, but I will get there. Then I have worked on the Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery. And have I mentioned how many? No, I haven't mentioned how many stitches because I wasn't counting, but I, do, I had done some. This is what I have done so far. I managed to fill in this and I managed to stitch this piece up. And yeah, I love this. This is done on 40 count linen in the colorway linen, and I don't know the brand. But I love working on this and I am doing a lavendery blue instead of the pinky reddish tones. So yeah, love this one. That's Coffee Quaker. And then I remember I was stitching for my niece. So Naomi, if you were watching, I don't think you are, but if you do, just shut off this this video because I'm now going to talk about you and what I'm stitching for you. So, bye Naomi! <laughs> I was stitching this one. I started stitching this one for her. But, I the colors, I used the cold for colors and the colors aren't nowhere near this picture nowhere near and they were not my taste i wasn't liking stitching on it so i tossed it and talked again to alice and asked her what should i do because i want to finish this for her birthday not this because i was done with this then she said she had a marvelous idea of just do the wording and i said you are genius so I have started and finished. This is what I have. And this is my fabric. Um, I'm talking about that later on. Um, this is Home is Where You Poop by... I'm not sure. An Etsy store. And I 
stitch this with coloring cotton butter mints on black no not black on 28 count joblin which i hand dyed in the color midnight and why am i telling you it has a name because i had several people asking me if i would like to start selling hand dyed fabrics and i like dyeing fabrics and so i opened up a etsy store uh, it's not live yet because i need to dye fabrics and i need to uh, get some things for my shop and when i uh, receive all of them i will put some things to start with in my etsy store and i will tell you all about it but this is midnight by me <laughs> and i love this those were my whips no they're not <laughs> i'm lying y'all i had a couple of new starts because why not um I showed you last time I bought a pattern directly from the designer, uh, which was Marjorie Massey, and it was called Quaker Street, which is this one, because I my, my printer still doesn't work, so I need to order a new printer, and I, yeah, I need to do that. I started that one on, let's see... 32 count vintage navy bean by Lakeside Linens. Again, Lakeside Linens. Because I ordered a substantial amount of Lakeside Linens. <laughs> and this is my start on... Oh, this is my start on Quaker Street. I am stitching it with Threadworks 101244 not 10, which is this gorgeous dark blue and dark green. And it's not showing up how I like it, but maybe a little bit. I really love this. Um, I can say I love Threadworks. You need to cut your lengths short because it's not as soft as DMC or Victorian Mottos or any other cotton floss. This is a little more sturdy. It's, it's not very nice to work with, but I bought a lot of it, so I need to use it for this. <laughs> Love this. And it only says OW. Or UA. <laughs> that was my start on Quaker Street, which is just a gorgeous pattern. My next start on the Facebook group Stitching 911, there was a stitch along going on or started by several and I really, really, really loved the pattern. I already loved the pattern. I had it on my wish list for a longer time and when I saw that stitch along I said I need to buy it immediately. So I did. Which is Autumn Alphabet by Willow Hill Samplings. And I, of course, made my own color conversion. Because the pumpkin, the bottom pumpkin, is actually green when you take the called for floss. Uh, the fabric is 32 count vintage autumn gold by Lakeside Linens. And... Let's see. This is my start on it. Excuse the hoop marks. It's not green. It's vintage autumn gold. So it's gold-like. Maybe. No. It looks a bit green. I love the blue pumpkin. And I did a lot. I am using... Let, let me show you my conversion. For the bottom pumpkin, the inside 
lighter blue. I'm using Mermaid's Folly, which is a tealy green blue. It's gorgeous. For the black part, I'm using Slate Roof by Victorian Motto. For the middle pumpkin, I am going to use Mint Julep by Color and Cotton. For the top pumpkin, I'm using Raw Linen by Color and Cotton. And for the darker blue on this pattern, I am using Peacock Elegance by XU Design. And then I have two green colors for the leaves, and I am using these two sulkies, 12 weight, which are lovely to work with. So I can't wait to get back to this. It's a wonderful stitch, and I love this stitch along. The hashtag is Autumn Alphabet with Friends Sal, I believe, out the top of my head. I couldn't pass it up. I just loved it. And then yesterday came the 1st of October because it's my birthday month. I had this planned for months now and um, because it's my birthday month, I wanted to have a start. It's not my actual birthday on October 1st. My actual birthday is on October 10th. So, but I wanted to start at the beginning of the month. I started this snooty parrots with Alice, hi Alice, my stitchy friend, and Stacy, 911 stitcher, and Julia, the stitcher girl on Flosstube, I believe, out the top of my head. And if you would like to join us, you can absolutely. I am using the hashtag Snooty Parrots B Day Cell. And I love this pattern. And I started, and it's still in the hoop. This is 40 count doubloon. By Pixie Dis Plus, and this is my start on it. I started in the top left corner, and I already am in love with this piece. I am using my own conversion, of course, and this is Miss Uceda's silks, except for the red, because the red she had uh, was too bright, and I wanted didn't want it. To be too bright, I am using a Overa Soie, which is hand, -dye, hand dyed by at Bordure Paradise, the former LNS. Um, and this is the colorway Fuurtore, which is Lighthouse. And yeah, this is not too bright, it's lovely, and I think this is going to be a gorgeous piece. So Finally, and I'm going to be working on this one this afternoon and tomorrow because I can. Then, of course, because it's October already, uh, can't believe where the time is going. We had two new numbers drawn by uh, for the WIPGO group on Facebook by Jessie Marie Does Stuff on Flustoop. And she mentioned uh, the numbers 7 and 14. And my number 14, I believe, is... Let's see. December in the Netherlands. And I'm going to do a thousand stitches on this one. And I'm going to show you how far I am at this point. This is what I have until now on 28 count haunted by pixie this plus with the called for dmts that's number 14 for WIPGO for a thousand stitches and then my number seven i was hoping for it because it's dark october stitching this month for me too and I managed to forget to grab my dark October stitching so I'm pausing you and I'm going to grab it later on I am doing for number seven celebrate Halloween by Madame Chantilly 
I love this. And let's see how far I have gotten. And I put it in a bag to protect it. This is what I have done so far. The middle tier is done. And I'm going to do a thousand stitches. This is stitched on 28 count Joblin, which I hand dyed with emerald and gray. So it's not showing up like it should. I'm going to see if I can fix that. I don't have a name for this fabric yet. Let's see if I can show you. Yes, maybe a little bit. This is what I've done. And I love this fabric and I love the color. So that's that one for a thousand stitches. And those were my whips. And now I need to pull my pieces for October, dark October. So I'll be right back. I'm back. I picked my dark October stitching for this month. I'm planning and I don't, I don't know if I can manage to uh, stitch on all of these, but I picked all my Halloween-y type uh, projects, which I have going on. HL Moth by Kathy Barrick. I love Kathy Barrick. I started this at Stitch Mania this year. And I am stitching this on a 32 count orangey pumpkin-y fabric by Victorian Motto, which I was part of the Fabric of the Month Club. And this is my start on it at Stitch Mania this year. And yeah, I would love for this one to come out. So we'll see how much time I will get. This is HL Moth. Let's see. I hope I didn't bump the camera because I wasn't being careful. Uh, the next one I have up my sleeve is, let's see, yeah, Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. And I am stitching it on. 36 count picture this plus sand I think I think this is sand or legacy I don't know is this no <laughs> it's not <laughs> this is the right way I started in the bottom left bottom right corner to start with the house so this is what I've done so far see do I have more yes I do you've seen this in August but I thought it was fitting for this month August autumn stocking by Plum Street samplers it's not really dark but I like it I am stitching this on 35 count pearl by Paul stitches with the call for threads and let's see this is what I have so far I love this one so let's see if I pick this one Then my next one I picked is Itchy Nose, Stitchy Nose, Scary Berry by Erica Michaels, which I received as a gift from Stacy 911 Stitcher. She already finished it and gave the pattern to me. And she already, she not only gave me this pattern, she also gave me the fabric for it. So 
that's 28 count haunted by pixie this plus and i this was also a stitch mania start and i am not sure where this is what i have so far <laughs> it's not much <laughs> it's a bit of the moon and i hope to see this finished because i gave myself uh, 500 to 8,000 stitches on every project so that would be enough I think to finish it so let's see that's that one and then I have another one which is Hickety Pickety by Brenda Gervais with I Needle and Thread also started at Stitch Mania. I am stitching this on 32 count Dragon's Egg by XU Design. I don't know what happened, but if I am talking to you through my phone, <laughs> I get an itchy nose. So this is what I have done so far. Needle Miner is Let's, let's Get Back, back Crazy. This is from a gift from Stitchonomy, which is which is a shop here in the Netherlands. And I started in the middle with the Cold War threads. So those are my part of my plans. And let's see how many of these I will be stitching in this month. Which leads me to my purchases or haul. Um, first off, I was going to show you uh, in the last couple of videos, but I forgot. Um, I bought three designs from Stitching with the Housewives. Um, out the top of my head, I don't know for sure the names of these patterns, but I love them. These are from the What's in My Cup series. And it's these three I'm going to show you just I, I don't have a printer right now so I'm going to show you here and I love them and I'm going to sh stitch them of course on my own fabric which is midnight which I showed you earlier and then I have a lot a lot a lot of fabric hole I was uh, on a stash group on Facebook a Dutch stash group and someone is, I think, destashing all her first stitching stuff. And she has a lot of lakeside linens and R&R &R fabrics. So, I, uh, yeah, I got lucky, I think. The first one is a Stitcher's Half, which is 32 count mocha by Lakeside Linens. Love this color. And it's a very big piece. So, let's see. It's, yeah, it's a little bit darker, but love this. The second piece is, and this one I snatched up. Uh, no, not. That's another one. This one is a 32 count R&R Forklifter blend, which is this. It's a gray, gray fabric, gray neutral. Then this one I snatched up just before Lydia Lovely Stitches asked if she could have this one <laughs> to the seller and I already bought it. So I'm sorry, Lydia. This is 32 count light chino by r, &R. Very neutral. Then I am not sure if this has a name or not. It doesn't. I bought a very big piece of my favorite color in Lakeside Linens, which is a variegated blue. I am not sure what I'm going to stitch on this, but I'm sure I can find something. Maybe a Mirabilia or a mermaid or... We'll see. I bought... Um, 
let's see this is a 32 count very big piece a stitchers have of uh, silk weaver fabrics which is sterling silver which is a grayish with a purpley undertone and it's it's a gorgeous very big piece so i i already know what i'm going to stitch on it but i haven't had it have it yet so uh i'm not going to tell you right now i'm going to show you when i'm going to start it so the next piece of linen i bought is a 32 count no this is 28 count and this is a silk weaver solo and it doesn't say which name but it's a silk weaver solo and it's a greenish gray blue looks like murky but a little more little more blue green that's that one and i have bought and this is the last one i bought from the v stash this is the 32 count vintage autumn gold by lakeside linens yeah beautiful beautiful piece i see a lot of samplers in my future and then i received my fabric of the month from xu design <coughs> She had sent me uh, 40 count aged pumpkin linen. Look at this gorgeous piece. This is beautiful. Let's see if I can show you up close. Gorgeous for Halloween. And she sent a skein of chestnut bark, which is her hand dyed floss, which is a greenish color beautiful and a pattern of her own doing which is acorns gathering so that came in the mail and that's all of it i think yes so my plans for uh the next couple of weeks are stitching on all my dark october stitching i am going to stitch on my whip go pieces and i'm going to stitch uh, for tonight and tomorrow on snooty parrots because i can and it's my birthday month so that's it and leaves me to shout outs i have watched a lot of floss tube because i was sick and I am not sure if I know any names of the people who are doing the floss tubes, but I just would like to list them. And then I'm going to list every one I watched recently. Um, the first one is Stitching in the Land of Good Enough. I loved her. I loved her. She, she doesn't have a lot of videos yet, but I loved her. her yeah, how do you call that? I loved her personality and I loved what she stitches. So check her out. Then we have Pumpkin Creep. Creek. Creep. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not supposed to be. Uh, Pumpkin Creek Primitives. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, she is hilarious, by the way. Uh, you should watch her, watch her. I love her cat, which is... Uh, very much up to mischief so you should watch her um, <laughs> I'm very sorry I don't know your name but I'm very sorry um, you're not a creep <laughs> then we have Carol Rosebud Stitcher I love her she she shows samplers and pieces I haven't seen before so sh you should watch her uh, Daisy Case Primitives also love her uh, Corn Husker State Stitchers, uh, those are a mom and daughter, and I don't know her, their names, but they, um, yeah, I love their dynamic between them. Um, Scott Stitches in Spain, hi Scott, I love it when you start, when I saw you started a own Flustube channel, so you're doing great, by the way, uh, you should watch Scott, and then at least, 
uh, not at least, at last, <laughs> Missouri Stitcher. I don't know her name either, but I know she does her videos vlog style. And I love it. I love watching it. And you should watch her also. Those are the newer floss tubers. And uh, to me, at least. And uh, they all have a couple of videos out. So watch them and say hi to them and welcome them at the floss tube world. So thank you for watching. If you have managed to stay here until now. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I'll be back hopefully in about two weeks. I'm going to celebrate my birthday um, next week, but not with my entire family and friends because of COVID uh, regulations. Uh, we are on strict orders and um, I didn't want to celebrate my birthday anymore with how I al always celebrate it. I am just going to celebrate it with my boyfriend and my son and his son so just the four of us and yeah i didn't want i didn't feel like it next year is another round so then i will celebrate it with my entire family but it's it is what it is and i would like to stay safe and i would like my family to stay safe so that's why i chose to not celebrate it and um I hope you stay safe as well, uh, if you can stay at home and right now. And yeah, I hope you are staying safe and I hope you watch a lot of floss tubes and I hope you stitch a lot and I hope that finds, that's, that's comforting to you. It's, it is to me. So thank you for watching and I'm rambling now, so I'm going to say goodbye. I see you in two weeks. <laughs> Bye for now.